Alright, PS2, of course. Haiki, this is probably like the worst stage for Link in this matchup, but it's PS2 center because I feel like if he was truly focusing, though, he would not allow Gidra to get to this stage. This is some slow gameplay right now, but what the hell? Neither of these guys really want to commit by the looks of it. Just kind of. Walling with these safe options from both players right now. A lot of grenades coming out from Snake. A lot of boomerangs because that move is ridiculously safe. And, and bombs as well. <laughs> My bad. Alright, well. Pretty cool seeing both these players at this local, honestly. Because, like, if we're being realistic, Cool Kings hasn't been here in about a month or so. Traveling in from Norfolk area is quite nice. And Gidra, he's in like a US military or something, so he's. He's always. He's gonna be a temporary member of our team, so it's great to have him. He's nice to see him well, he's, like, he's a very nice guy, and he's very good at Snake. Pretty much dead even in this first game here. Cool King's catching up. Roll in with that up tilt. And I mean, the way that both these players are playing so like, for lack of a better word, oh my days, what really nice double parry there from Gidra. Surgical, finding that up tilt. He knows what he needs, he knows what he wants, and he will fish for it, he does not care. That's Snake, baby. Yeah, incredibly even right now, feels like both players, you know, since these characters, they kind of deal like 30-40% in one interaction just for no reason. It feels like both players are pretty scared of committing to, to something. You know, I can imagine the matchup being incredibly volatile. We see these heavy hitting combos coming out of Cool Kings right now. That rank fair dealing like 30%. That's madness. Future though, maintaining is cool. Cool Kings seeing pretty with center stage. Got the lead. You know, Snake is one of those characters where the lead really matters. Ooh, that was a lovely extension. Great awareness. He's, he knew that rank was coming back. He's practiced with that. And, uh, you know, you could tell just by the way he was moving. You know, he's played Link so much. He was completely ready for that conversion. Beautiful stuff. Gintra has a, you know, I wouldn't call it a mountain, but, you know, it's getting there. A sizable hill to climb because Link is a heavy guy like he's gonna need another 50% if he wants to kill him and he's at 50 of his own so you know it's looking rough we'll have to see if Gidra has any tricks up his sleeve to try clutch out this game one so at the moment it's looking great for cool kings Just emptying his whole inventory right now, throwing away these grenades, these missiles, just trying to find something. But Cool Kings is not giving him any leg room. This is incredibly disciplined gameplay from Cool Kings right now. Fantastic parry, not having the confidence to punish, not needing it though. Demanding two stock. Looks like we're opting for bans. Skidra is not going to be complacent. Go back to PS2. Makes sense if you do lose uh, a match on the stage. I do think you should try and mix it up. So I like this. Even though I do think this ma this stage is fair for Snake. This is a Snake stage in this matchup. That only, you know, statements like that, like, you know, this matchup is this or the stage is good or bad. At the end of the day, that's all abstracted, you know, that's all like in a perfect world where both players are playing perfect Link and perfect Snake. In reality, maybe Cool King's playstyle really benefits off PS2 and Gidra's doesn't. You know, something like that is very much possible. So I do like this choice, opting for the red camo as well. Beautiful Snake skin. 
Both players right now, red actually seeing red, feeling angry. We are on a battlefield after all. Double parry, nice execution right now from Gidra, showing his, you know, maybe his focus right now. That's what you need to beat Link. The way I have you Link match up is like definitely a series of quick time events, if that makes sense. Because he's constantly trying to escape from mid range, because Link is pretty bad in mid range. So he's constantly like dashing away. Then you have to deal with projectiles for a few seconds, and it's like, you know, it's a quick time event, you just don't get hit by projectiles basically. So he, he can't actually convert pressure off projectiles, he can just poke you with them from long range. And then in short range, basically just has nair timings, and it's like, do you parry or do you escape properly? Do you lose RPS? So that when I fight Link, I think of it as like a series of quick time events. Cool Kings make Link look high tier. Cool Kings plays like very good Link. It's like, Obviously, he's not like the best player fundamentally in the UK. Not as like an insult. Just he's not like he's not PR level fundamentals wise because like, hardly anybody is except PR players themselves. But I would say that his knowledge of Link, the way he plays Link, is like really, really good. If that makes sense. Like it's like I mean I was talking about this with like Swiss Stack uh, or about Swiss Stack with um, Zyra. Uh, NSC right at Lush, where it's like Swiss Stack might not be like a top level player fundamentally, but the way he plays Snake is like ideal. You know, it's like that's how you need to play. You know, they know all the combos, they know all the mix-ups, they know the game plan, and Cool Kings does that very well. You know, it shows his dedication to this character. As much as he hates on Link, you know, as much as he hates being pessimistic, at the end of the day, this is the Link that you know got him second at Leeds Legends. You know what I mean? This is the link that he's uh, achieved so much with, so... There has been blood, sweat and tears poured into this. Uh, look at that conversion, it's just clean, you know? I wouldn't have, Like, I play young link and I still wouldn't have seen that conversion. I'm just not used to it. It's very impressive. But, you know, Gidra's still in this. It's a lot about Cool Kings, but you know, this match is somewhat even. A nice jump catch from Cool Kings there. And suddenly, I was talking about how this is even, but yeah, Gidra's gonna need to stop real soon if he wants to close out this game too. Wow, the bomb recovery just about not doing it. The knockback went second on the bomb, so he actually survived. That was crazy. This is messed up, man. 157, you know, versus Snake. Feels like every normal snake has will kill at this point. And this lead is, oh my days, 71%, you know. Like these single hit moves just keep piling up. Keeps you in neutral right now. Gidger is looking lost, you know, he's chuckling, he's just not, he's not sure what's going on. Is this back to back two stocks? Yes, it is. And Cool Kings. Gonna secure. Secure that 2 -er. That was dominant. I did not expect it to be that dominant. I'm not gonna lie. Impressive showing from Cool Kings.